Yes, sir. Yes, uh, the only requirement is that a voter is a registered voter of Cotabato City para po makaboto. Uh, it is not a requirement to vote in the vaccination card. Uh, for that concern, I always tell the public and uh, anybody that if you have concerns, kindly verify it before your election officers in your localities kasi sila yung mga proper person to answer yun kung inyong mga concern with regards to election matters. Yes, a follow-up question. Kung hali-halin... Sir, no, hindi po tayo darating mm -hmm. sa, sa ganyan mm -hmm. because our security, everyone knows po, yung po ating mga authority knows that the only requirement for a person to vote is yung kanila po registration. Mm -hmm. right? Registration in Cotabato City. Alam po, hindi po nila i-hamper our mm -hmm. security sectors hindi po nila i-hamper yung right po ng person to vote because wala pong vaccination card. Because kaya po tayo nagkakaroon ng mga ganitong series of meetings and conferences for everybody na involved sa election to know kung ano ba yung requirements para magkaroon tayo ng safe election. Um, hindi pa po tayo nag-discovenant. Uh, our activity today is a meeting of our City Joint Security Control Center and the City Comelec Campaign Committee as well as meeting po nung Task Force Operation Baglas. Wala po tayo is covenant na ginawa ngayong araw. Uh, ito po is between yung ginawa po natin ngayon, yung meeting po natin ngayon, is between the members of the CGSCC, the members of the CCCC, and the Task Force Operation Baglas. So, for Cotabato City, no, we will give notice as to when po tayo magbabaglas because as a rule, we have to give at least three days notice to our uh, our candidates, to everyone, political party, to everyone po na nag-post po na kayo ng mga posters at least three days prior po doon sa ating cooperation class. But, but most probably, uh, we will have our operation class uh, on the first day of the local campaign meeting. They will, uh, they will be sanctioned accordingly, according to uh, the law, the Comelec resolutions and rules and policies. Uh, elaborate more, but uh, I would like to tell you that there is a sanction for non-compliance uh, of Comelec resolutions and Comelec rules. Okay. We cannot preempt everything pagdating po ng local campaign period. But kami po sa COMELEC, uh, kasama po yung ating mong partners in election, will we'll do our best po na matupad po, uh, masunod po kung ano man po yung mga minimum public health standards na pinapatupad po ng IATM, pati ng COMELEC po during the campaign until election. For that matter, and I think uh, you will know it. Kailan man po yun, but now, hindi pa muna namin yung masasabi sa inyo. Mm -hmm. Ang tanong ko po is, uh, paano po yung mga ating senior citizen na hindi na nila po kayang lumabas o pumunta sa voting percent? Uh, uh, pwede po ba sila ikuan, e, palitan yung ano nila, magpadala sila ng representative okay. nila? Hindi po pwede magpadala. Ang pwede lang po gawin ng atin po mga vulnerable sectors like the senior citizens, the PWD, and uh, pregnant women is magpa-assist po sila. Pati meron po silang at least priority during the election. Mm. Pero wala po tayong Substitution. Oh, yun. Yes. Yes. Oo, uh, assistance lang po ang uh, pwede ng uh, sa kanila. Kanila ng assistance is yung mga nearest of kin lang nila. Okay. Mga kotabatenyo po, pagdating po ng May 9, 2022 elections, lumabas po tayo at bumotor. Uh, huwag po kayong matakot, huwag kayong mag-alala because we have uh, prepared for May 9, 2022 elections. Our security sectors, the APPNP and other stakeholders involved in the election uh, prepared for that election. Okay, thank you.